Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you tuned in today. I have a Morphe dupe for you guys. I'm probably late to the game, as always. But I had to come back and show you guys what this palette looked like and show you some thoughts. So if you want to learn how to get this look right here, then let's get it popping. First thing I am going to do is I'm going to take some tape and then I'm going to apply it right here so that we have a nice crisp doing line. is taking my Bella Pierre and a beauty blender, dipping that in there and applying this all over the lid. This time I'm not going to be using any translucent powder because I want this pigment to really stick. So the first color I'm going to be going into is this pink color right here. And this is more of a dark pink color and I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush which is my SO6 and I'm going to apply that above the crease and building up the intensity I hope you guys can see that on camera this is the reason why I chose not to do any translucent powder because I really wanted these pigments to pop out so basically what I'm going to keep doing is building up this paint color until I get the desired Something color that like I want. This. Now the next thing I'm going to do is going into these two purple colors. One's a dark purple and one's a more of a lighter purple. And I'm going to be taking the same fluffy brush. The um, SO6 is linked down below of the brush set that I have. And I'm um, going to dab into both of those colors. And I'm going to apply that inside of the crease, creating a darker color shade so it will pop out more. So I'm going to take this brush, go into both colors, and apply that inside of the crease, just a little bit above the crease, so we can have a nice gradient going on. It's taking the same Bella Pierre um, eyeshadow primer and a flat brush with the, which this is the SO1 and I'm going to be saturating this brush in order to get a cut crease so what you want to do is basically look kind of down and go slowly on this part because if you go slowly then you'll be able to get your cut crease the way you want it so I like to dab in the corners first and then after I'm done with the corners, I like to bring it up some and then I'm going to look up and see where the crease goes. So I hope you guys can see that it's going all the way up because I have hooded eyes. So this is a good trick if you have hooded eyes. If you just dab a little bit on, look up just to see where it will naturally crease at. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch this part out. You don't oh, feel shit. like you have much of the other color there as I didn't. I went ahead and went back into that same purple color and I went with an S40 brush which is basically a flat brush. So it, it kind of looks like this if you guys can see that. It's a flat brush. Flat. It's not an angled brush but it's it's got a flat edge. And I went ahead and traced around the cut crease to give more of a cut crease look. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into this nice pink color over here and I'm going to take a flat brush which is my S20 brush and I'm going to go in there and fill in my cut crease with this pink color. And I like to dab it on because that's how I make sure that the pigment stays. If you want to, you can stop here and you can add your eyeliner and lashes and call it a day. But I'm going to take it up a notch and I'm going to be using this and this NYX Multitasker. Now, the thing about this is that when you're doing these two together, it is best that you have everything open and set to go. Because you're going to do this in steps. So I'm going to open up my glitter and my multitasker, I'm not like you guys needed to know that, just have them ready. <laughs> Dip my brush into my multitasker, apply a little bit in the corners, so forgive me if I'm not looking at you, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> 
And then after that, you're going to pick up a little bit of the glitter. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't think this glitter was meant for the eyes. So, you might want to choose a glitter that was meant for the eyes. If you guys watch my last video, this was a lip kit. So, yeah. <laughs> Thought I'd let Going you back know. <laughs> into that dark pink and that dark purple color. I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, S40 brush. I swear I'm going to get this down one day. And I'm going to apply that at the bottom lash line. Now picking up that same dark pink, I'm going to apply that just a little bit below the lash line, kind of blending the two together. Now taking a smudge brush, I'm going to go into this lighter shade of shimmery pink and I'm going to take the smudge brush, put it right into that pigment and then that's going to be my inner corner highlight. For today's lips, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallibles um, New Line and this is um, a brown color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to do something inspired by Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is the reasons why I chose all the pinks. Um, only is October Halloween, but it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I wanted to really embrace that and bring out a lot of the pinks in this look. Um, FYI, I just wanted to let you guys know. I don't think lit, this ain't lit, the, uh, what is this? <laughs> this glitter is eye friendly, so don't do what I did and use the glitter from the lip kit. I'm just letting you know, before any of you guys try to recreate this look, please go get some cosmetic glitter that is made for the eyes. Although, in my opinion, I don't think any glitter is made for the eyes. But it sure is pretty, though. But do not use this. I want you to go get eye cosmetic glitter. <laughs> all in all, since I was never able to get my hands on the original palette, I did some comparisons with this one that I found on Amazon and compared to the one through Morphe and it looks exactly the same. I've compared swatches and everything like that. Um, I did not do swatches in this video because I, I mean, I don't know. I just didn't do swatches. I just figured you guys it wasn't interesting. You wanted to get right into the look. So if you like the swatches, you let me know down there and then I will start incorporating the swatches back into the video. I don't have a problem blending any of these colors. Um, they're actually very pigmented. Um, the shimmers, I like to use wet anyway, but I did for this particular video use the shimmer dry just to see if it was going to pick up the same. And by golly, it picked up pretty darn good. So if you guys are interested in this palette, everything I use is down below. And I don't think I ever said what color the lip is that I have. And this is called 70% Yum by L'Oreal Infallibles. You can get this at your local grocery store. But if you're like me and everybody done went and bought it and so you had to order it online, that is linked down below as well. <laughs> so please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Share my tutorials. Sharing is caring. Sharing helps me out a lot. And give this video a thumbs up that lets me know that you like my content. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.